So here's five things, both good and bad, that have surprised me after 25 hours on this Revalo 266 Cayman. The first one actually goes both ways, and that's the Yamaha 425 in the back. I love the performance. I love the way it sounds. I was really worried about engine noise, and I thought I should upgrade my stereo after reading some things online. Turned out I didn't need to, and I'm glad I didn't. Uh, that engine noise is not a problem, and I'm getting a little bit better fuel economy than I expected because I'm getting two and a half pretty regularly. You do have to really aggressively trim up this engine. Um, on the bad side, if you open it up and you want to, you want to tap it out, you want to go, you want to go wide open. You're going to be burning some fuel. I mean, it, it drops down considerably. I think I'm getting like 1.6, 1.4 maybe at 50 miles an hour. But it's fun. It sounds great. It'll turn some heads. I mean, I've had some people say, "Wow, that V8 sounds amazing." And at that, at that RPM, it's also burning a lot of fuel. So at the very end of this video, I'll show you a shot. The camera just locked on my engine gauges and you can see how the engine's planing out. All the performance data will be right there. All right, the second thing, and this is gonna sound really stupid, I think, but I'm enjoying that Minn Kota Altera way more than I expected I would. It just makes me power fish more. I'm not running by small spots. I'm gonna hit every spot because I can just sit here, push a button, I'm just not wearing out. And, the heat will get you out here, and there's definitely been times on the way home I've fished a few spots more than I would have just because I had the Altera, and uh, that's a surprise to me. I knew I'd love it. I can't believe I, I didn't have it before. It's something I don't think I'll ever go without that Altera. All right, the third thing on my mind is the floor. Now, hear me out on this one. When I bought this boat, I had planned on putting decking in. I was thinking of designs and putting a name on it and, and rulers and all that stuff. My buddy has a Tidewater 2500 Carolina Bay. He's got Decket, and it's super comfortable on your feet. And I love the style you put in it. It looks really killer. It's a little hard to clean. So you get the cushion, but, but it's hard to clean. In this case, I've got this diamond, I, I don't know what it's called. I'll put it right here, what it's actually called from the dealer. Um, but my dealer said, don't do that. You're not gonna need it. Jeff took one fall so far, and that was uh, in the live well. So he's my, he's my litmus test for falling on a boat. I'm loving this, this decking, the flooring, and also just the width of the gunnels. You can walk across these gunnels, no problem. Um, and that's just a little bit of a surprise to me. It's gonna save me a little bit of money. I'm sure I'll just spend it on something else. But, uh, but the flooring is actually really nice, and it cleans up incredibly well. Very, very easy to clean. So I love the look. I don't plan on changing it. The fourth thing, and this is on the negative side, is I'm struggling to dock this boat in tight places. I can't do my Austin Powers turn. <laughs> I don't know what it's really called. I'll put it up here uh, after I get home and look it up. But I can't, I can't do my clock turn uh, as well as I could in my other boat. My other boat had a 300. It was a thousand pounds lighter. Different boats just ran different. When I put it in reverse and turned, crank the wheel, I could get the bow to swing. I'll get used to it. I know I felt that same way about my other boat. It took me a couple months before I, I it was just second nature to I me. Mean, I'm sure that'll happen here. But right now, a negative surprise is. I can't come in perpendicular to a dock very well and just work my way into a, a docking position. All right, and the last thing, and this was something that I was kind of losing sleep over, uh, I was really dreading the fact that I was gonna lose a couple inches of draft. So my last boat had uh, a two, two inches less draft than this one, and I felt like, well, I'm going bigger, I gotta give up something, and I won't be able to fish the same areas. But this boat will be a little bit better near shore. It'll be a, a spectacular tarpon boat. So I just felt like, you know, I'll give up those couple inches of draft. But the honest truth is I, I'm still fishing the exact same places, catching the fish in the same spots. I'm pretty conservative. I, I get picked on a little bit uh, by someone who's six, seven, and if his boat gets stuck, he can push it off. Uh, I had a pretty bad experience the first couple months that I lived here in Southwest Florida. I got stuck really bad in Blind Pass. Just trying to get the boat off, I, I, I didn't, it, it was an experience I don't want to replicate. I don't miss the two inches of draft at all. Uh, I'm gaining so much space. And this boat, maybe a, a, a little bit of a surprise too, is, and obviously I, I knew the dimensions of it, but it just, it feels bigger than it, it is on paper to me. I, I thought I wouldn't notice one foot difference, and it's hugely noticeable to me, especially in the back of the boat. So, so maybe that's kind of one little bonus surprise, is it actually feels bigger to me than then it looked on paper. It's a little wider, a little little longer than what I had before, and uh, there's just more room everywhere. I had five people on the boat the other day, a couple little kids, and it was fun to watch them just play around with every switch and ask every question about everything. Kind of, that's, that's really why I bought the boat, to share it with other people, and getting two little guys out like that was just a freaking blast. Uh, I'll put the video that I shot on that at the end of this one. I'm gonna have rod holders installed, my antenna shortened, 
Uh, I've been banging into that dang antenna all day today. It's just driving me crazy. And I purposely didn't put rod holders in this boat because I wanted to do it at the, the first service and we're coming up to that now. I know right where I want them, but uh, it's nearly impossible to fish two rods right now and it's driving me crazy. That's my summary for uh, 25 hours on this, this beautiful Rabala 266 Cayman. Loving the boat. Uh, certainly I'm not sponsored by anybody. If I find something out that I think other people might, might want to know about, uh, I'm going to share it on my channels. We'll see it going in for the big service coming up here and, and I'll shoot a video on all the modifications and everything. I have something really exciting coming for the back that I can't wait to install. I'm going to have the dealer install the rod holders and, and clean up a couple of different areas and I'll, I'll show all of that in my next video here about my boat. But that's a wrap, 25 hours. The boat's fishy, I'm having a great time with it and that's what it's all about. So, hope you liked it. Show at the end of this. Cut. Cut.